Was it a trap? Was it a cunning scheme by the Kuzeti lords to finally bring down the unstoppable, ferocious desert lion? Without a doubt, it was. When superior numbers on an open battlefield only serve to wet the teeth of the beast and bring one of the most humiliating defeats in Kuzate history, the only two options left were either superior quality or a cunning trap. Partia knew that his own army was maybe not the most expensively equipped, seen to the total number there were many new recruits, but his mind was sharp and his tactics as always impeccable. So. This must surely be a cunning trap by the Kuzait. Partia looked up towards the mountain slope, and halfway up he saw the skirmish had begun. They had pursued the small Kuzait warband for a long time now, and finally they had caught them on a mountain slope. This must be where they would spring their trap, Partia thought, and strained his eyes to maybe catch a glimpse of the sun reflecting from a badly hidden spearhead or sword further up the mountain. Bring it you will find that even the mountains have their lions. My Sultan, I bring with me the scout's report. A young recruit came up to Partia and bowed his head. Well then, boy, let's hear it. Where are they hiding their reinforcements? Partia kept looking up the mountain. There, there aren't any, my lord. There aren't any traces or hints of a trap anywhere. It looks like they were genuinely running from us. Partia looked at the young man, seeing a fire lit in his eyes and the hint of a smile being forcefully kept back to not disrespect his sultan. Partia knew what it was. It was the hunger for battle, the hunger to prove himself to his superiors and make a mark upon the world. Not a trap then, just a weak foe. This is good news indeed. We might have finally broke the back of the Kuzate horse and clipped the wings of the eagle. Praise be to Asara. Partia laughed and lifted his iron mask to the sky before he put it on. Behind the mask, his smile faded. This was going to be a slaughter. The mountainside would run red with blood. Another day of death and despair. Glory to the Ashkas! Glory be to Asara! The young man shouted and raised his hand triumphantly as he saw his sultan get on his mighty steed and the horse pounded its hooves into the earth in anticipation. Men, hear me, Partia shouted and raised his war glaive and started pointing as he gave orders. We have them now. Infantry, make a shield wall there. Archers, loose formation by that mound. Riders, form a wedge. Mounted archers, loose formation. His men pounded their fists to their chests and set off. Partia breathed heavily and took another look up the mountainside. This was going to be a bloodbath, a necessary sacrifice on the altar of unification and distant peace. Oh, how I long for peace, the lion from the desert thought. But outwards we rode forward to another battle, another slaughter in his search for a unified Calradia. Onwards, charge to glory, he shouted, and a mighty roar spurred him on. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another chapter of the Adventures of Partia Al Eat in Bannerlord. The end of the Kuzate must come quickly. For as much success as the Ishkas see to the east, they see much pain and suffering to the west. One last uphill struggle against the Horse Lords, one last mountain to climb. Time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. This will be. A very tense return to the story of Partia al It. Yes, the Kuzait are on the back foot, the back hoof, if you will. But yes, on the other side of the world, on the other side of the continent, on the other side of the peninsula, I suppose you could probably say, the uh, battalions are making some decent progress against us. And I do fear uh, for how much damage they might cause before we're able to respond. You know, Ox Hall has been lost. We've lost most of our holdings up over here. Uh, Rovalt, Ostakan. Turby Castle will surely be soon to go. Lanaken Castle is currently under siege with Heckard moving in to try and defend it with a marginal force. So hopefully he knows what he's doing. We see uh, up over here as well, Umbrella is under siege, but that must be by the uh, Kuzate, I imagine. But on, you know, 
On the flip side, Isvan's army over here has put Makkeb under siege, while down over here, Erenix puts uh, Cyronia under siege. We're actually headed up north to try and protect Emprella from the Kuzate, uh, but, of course, en route, we came across our foe, and we hope to shut them down. We have done quite well against the Kuzate, just as a reminder, folks, if we take a look at the situation over here, they are, oh, they're in a terrible position, and after we win this upcoming battle, their position will only be worse. I'm really hoping, I'm really sincerely hoping that we are able to just clean up, just, just clean up the mess that is this war against the steppe, and then turn around and deal with the Batanians. It'll be some time before we have enough influence to, uh, to push for a peace through influence. I know many of you are suggesting that we shouldn't do that, it's a waste of influence. But the longer these wars have gone on, the, the more I feel like if I don't get peace with the Batanians, it'll just get worse and worse when it comes time to, uh, uh, to fight them, because they'll have gained so much territory, so much ground. The Western Empire will surely declare war on us soon as well, because we are receiving a tribute from them. So, uh, you know, undoubtedly they're going to declare war on us as well. But I would rather go to war with these guys then stay at war with these guys, right? So as soon as I think we get enough influence, I would say maybe 3,200, 3,300 influence, I might actually, I've, I've been reconsidering my, my situation, I might actually push for peace with the Batanians. Yes, it'll be a short peace, but all I need is a couple of weeks, really, to clean up the Kuzate, and then we can, you know, they can declare all the wars they want to declare upon us, we'll be ready for them, we'll be in a position to deal with them. So that's where my head's at right now. Now, as I hit done over here, and as we dive into this battle ahead of us, I just want to mention really quickly, folks, uh, I apologize for the delay in this episode. Life has been absolutely wild this last week. There's some really interesting stuff going on right now in my life. Uh, it's all good stuff, I want to be clear. Uh, I'll share more when I can share. Hopefully uh, next week, or I guess this coming week, I'll be able to, I'll be in a position to share some more details. I'm really excited to share details if things go the way I hope they go. But because of the the, the wildness uh, of last week, basically there, were, there was no regular programming almost at all. Uh, so I apologize for that. I do appreciate your patience. And I, again, I, words it cannot suffice how much I appreciate your patience. So thank you very much for that. And just as a reminder, as always, folks, if you're ever wondering where an episode is, why it's not out yet or anything like that, uh, do not hesitate to you know check out uh, the Discord in the announcements channel. I'll, I'll typically announce if there's a delay. Or if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see me tweet out updates to the schedule, any emergencies that come up or any reason that I might not be doing uh, what what you expect the schedule to be. I always try to keep everybody up to date, and I find those are the best avenues of, of getting the, the word out there, basically. Um, but yeah, with that said, we're back on track now. Things should be fine to move forward. I don't, I don't foresee any issues with scheduling this coming week, so we're back on track with a regular schedule now. Let's go ahead and dive on in to help uh, Morentios' party over here. Shouldn't be a very difficult battle or anything, but I think we will fight this ourselves nonetheless, just to try and train some of our troops up minimize our losses as it were uh, and start things off with a bang why not it'll be a slaughter or so i hope we'll see what uh, what comes of it this will also help me resharpen my uh my blade as it were as we uh, prepare for some bigger battles to come as well um this looks like a decent battlefield yeah yeah this will work i wonder if i want to actually creep up over here there is this mound over here that we could use let's get our uh, archers up front at least okay come on now out of my way blocking my path over here the dismount order out we do have this mound we could take it i doubt they're going to come towards us outside of the horse archers actually let's pull up to here pull up to there let's go this will work nicely this will work nicely i think cool horse archers pull you up to there get you into a uh, loose formation cavalry quite a few quite a few horses that's quite a few horses get you into position our archers are arriving ready to fire away a glaive out Doing all right. Doing all right. Good stuff. Cavalry pulled through. Oh, this is going to be a slaughter. Infantry's arrived as well. Good stuff. Cavalry charge. Oh, over a hundred horses. Look at that. Look at the might of the Ishkas over here. Oh, right in the face. It looks like I hit his neck, actually. It felt like I hit his face. Beautiful. Riders pull back. Archers up top, infantry. Form a shield wall, let's go. Done well here. Oh, this this is more than a slaughter. Oh my god. Good stuff, good stuff. Hold hold your positions. Loose formation for archers. Make sure they're all firing freely here. Cavalry, let's get you into a more optimal position up there for some rear charges perhaps. Some javelins being thrown as well. Archers are firing away. 
horse archers, horse archers, sorry, separating over there. Let's try and shut them down. Go up that way. Let's go. Good stuff. Javelin's coming through still. Almost time to give the infantry a charge command. There we go. Horse archers, pull you up over there. And go our men. Excellent. Cavalry, rear charge over here. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. I believe everybody had a chance to train a little bit as well. Which is what I was hoping for. Looking okay. We're looking okay. Cavalry pulling back as well. Oh, look, look at the number of horses we have here. Charge commands all across the board. Well done, men. Unsurprising. Unsurprising. But still a joy to behold. Good stuff, yeah. Uh, again, I feel like we've hopefully trained a couple of troops across the board over here. Leveled up some of our uh, worst off soldiers. Acquired some better equipment, as it were. Poor guy's head is, like, covered in blood. You gotta wonder what went down there. A couple good hits. Should have maybe left them for my, for my men, but hey. The Sultan's got to have a good time as well, right? Oh. Oh my god, that's a sight. Right through the net. Oh my god. We won! Yeah, we did win. Well done, men. Well done. Good stuff. Lost three soldiers. <gasps> I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering. The Slur actually died on the battlefield. Another blow to the Kuzate. One more horse lord has fallen. Wild. And 40 leveled up. That's not bad on our side. Three dead, 40 leveled up. Which which three died, actually? We lost uh, Valandian infantry. We lost some uh, Mamluk cavalry, okay. And we lost, what? Mamluk heavy cav. All right, we got a little adventurous with some of them, I guess. And, and my horse archers, I did see. I, I kind of mispositioned them a bit. Not the end of the world, but uh, but hey, this is this is good. Excellent. All done here. Beauty. This war is so heavily in our advantage. Rentios, good to see you here, Part Partia. Yeah, you as well. Tamien has been taken prisoner by Aldhan. Okay, good for you. No prisoners for us, it seems. Oh, right, there was only Tamien. The other one died, right. 32 prisoners available. We have room for some. There's the Kankli. The raiders, I believe, become just regular units, so irrelevant. Noble son, though, don't mind if I do. Horsemen, tribal warriors, nothing else really worth picking up. Alright, cool. All done here. Don't want to get bogged down, but we do have some leveling up to do. More sharpshooters en route, some swordsmen, some sergeants, some vulgars, imperial veteran infantrymen, and some more horsemen as well. Get some of those lancers out. Mamluk Palace Guard, beauty. Looking good, looking good, looking real good. All done here. Yeah, let's pick up all the loot as well. We're a little bit over capacity, which is somewhat concerning, I guess. Might, might might eventually be a bit more concerning, but for now it's all right. Not cause us any trouble. Wow, an entire clan destroyed just like that, man. Another one bites the dust. The fine-grained dust of the steppe, I suppose. The Slur was a beg of the Kuzate. He died in battle in 1109 at the age of 55. He was reputed to be friendly, but manipulative. Only he wasn't able to manipulate death, that's for sure. The Yenseret clan has been destroyed. He was the only one in it. Alone for all his life. Alone in death as well, perhaps. Man. Wild. Alright, let's go ahead and get uh, Morentios back in our army, though, I think, right? Not not too expensive to pull in. That's good. Now, as tempting as it is to stay down here and strike at, like, Akalat or, uh, or Chaikand or something because they're so nearby. Again, our goal was to try and prevent the conquest of Umbrella over here. Because otherwise we keep doing this back and forth dance. And I also want to make sure that Isvan doesn't abandon his siege of Makep. So let's continue our, our chase up there. And then we'll loop back and we'll take, uh, you know, we'll, we'll strike. Rannik of the Kuzate has been ransomed. Okay. We'll we'll take, uh, what, um, Tial we could attack. Baltakan. There's there's places we could attack and, and prevent, hopefully, the Kuzate from recruiting high-end, like, soldiers. Uh, but the plan is, yeah, maybe we should focus on cities while our uh, vassals focus on castles and, and, and cities that are worse defended. Looks like Hecard, by the way, is defending Lanakan Castle as he is with his small army here. I hope he knows what he's doing, man. These guys did not run away from him, and if they have reinforcements here, he's in trouble, Hecard. Don't be a fool, man. Don't be a fool. Don't try to be a hero here. Oh, come on, man. For real, Isfan? Traveling to Mysia. Okay. 
I'm 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 done being upset at these little things because there I'm just it's a waste of energy to be upset at at these kinds of moments. So what am I going to do about that? We we should have had Makeb. He had it under siege for so very long. We should have had it, but they must have run out of food or something, and now he's having to pull back, and it's just absolutely foolish to me. You know, Heckard over here, he's not looking like he's having a good time. He looks like he's going to lose his battle. I don't know why he dove in prematurely. He's trying to form an army over here. He didn't wait for any of his reinforcements to arrive. Uh, hopefully he wins. That'll make me happy. Hopefully he wins, but... Damn. Can you up? Go. Pick up the pace here, maybe. Tycon has 900 defenders, so they'll be a bit tougher to, to take on. Fair enough. Mizam, who are you? Probably won't be able to catch him to speak to him. But let's see. Mizam. The Urukanite. No chance of speaking to you. Go. Scare him off, if nothing else. Raunul has been taken prisoner by Sakanis. That's good. Was that Hecard's uh, victory? Seems it was. All right. I was too quick to judge. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, you never know, man. You never know. These guys speed of 4.7 or so 3.4. We're never going to catch them. They focused on Umbrella. They have towers done as well now. Oh, and they are assaulting. See, Isvan easily could have gone up over here and defended instead. But but no. No, why would he? Why would he? Why would he? Well, let's, not, let's just fall apart instead. Beautiful. Hopefully a new army will form basically immediately. Umbrella will fall over here. But we know there are four parties here that we can uh, strike at. There's Umbrella falling. Makeb, meanwhile, 500 defenders. Fair enough. Akios of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by the Kuzate. Not ideal. Alright, quite a few... Quite a few uh, red numbers here. None that we'll be able to catch, I don't think. Go get Makeb. Quickly now. Did this... What happened over here? Sora... Why you got a raid, man? Why you got a raid? Tagan's army over here. We should attack. These are the guys that took uh, Umbrella. We'll attack them. Get... Uh, how many are there? One, two, three, four of them. Sure. Try to get them as prisoners. Wouldn't be a bad idea. If I can catch them. Hopefully they're going to try and engage... Uh, Sora over here, and we'll be able to protect her. Yeah, let's go quickly now, quickly, quickly. This is gonna be a tough fight, though. It's it's gonna be a town battle, isn't it? Make sure our troops are properly leveled up, and let's make sure the prisoners that are willing to join us have joined us. And that way, we we just have that slightly higher strength. But again, I am concerned about uh, about it being a a town battle and how much of a mess that might create. Now, with how many archers we have and how many horse archers we have, we should be okay. I think we'll be fine. It's just always a little um concerning. The old battle. Let's go. Yep. Help Sora's party. Nothing to... Yeah, let's go for it. Again, we heavily outnumber them, but let's uh, sharpen our blade, shall we? Attack. They took Umbrella from me. I'll take their lives from them. Hopefully we get another noble killed. Scoop up a couple, scoop up a couple of prisoners as well. Further, you know, reduce the efficiency of the Kuzate. I just... I, we need to make progress on that front. If we're not hiring nobles for ourselves, we should at least remove nobles from uh, from our enemies, right? All right. Let's see what we can do over here. Uh, archers up front. They need to be up front for this one because there's no real mound or anything for them to use. Boost formation, infantry. Boost formation as well if this guy's through. Looks like it's not uh, a town battle, which is great. That's where it would be. Boost formation for you guys as well. Infantry, you can go ahead and dismount, please. Go ahead and get you into a shield wall. We're going to have to creep up over here. Probably going to use our horse archers for that. Cavalry can go a little bit higher as well. Archers will be able to start firing away soon. Early. 33 horse archers on their side is is, is, is not a... You know, maybe I should have just auto-resolve this battle. Our horse archers up there. Let's go. Cavalry. Guys, pull them back. Move out. Ride up with them. Got a glaive out. Horse archers are up here as well. Excellent. Oh, it looks like these guys are actually charging us. I guess they realized they didn't really have a choice. Have up there. A couple of archers back over here. Alright, let's pull back. And I would like to try and train more than just my uh, cavalry and, and archers and horse archers, but. How it's got to be. That's how it's got to be. Let's pull back a little bit. Bit of a mess there with their cavalry charging in, but we'll be fine, I think. Pulling you up. Riders, hear me. Cavalry, move. 
Get our cavalry down that way. Horse archers up over here. Yeah, good stuff. Archers are getting some work done. Lost to mom look regular, but yeah, there we go. archers are getting, getting, getting stuff. The noble down. Not dead, but... Cavalry. Push in, let's go. Actually, they do have some cav up over here we should try and finish off first, I think. Doing okay, doing okay. Charge for the... Let's go. This should be easy. Oh, it's so great to see the horse archers firing from behind me and the archers firing from in front of me and... The riders coming through as well. Good stuff. Meanwhile, this guy's trying to get some work done over here. Come on. Aiming way too high here. What's going on? Come on. There we go. Come on. Down he goes. Down he goes as well. Archer's doing a wonderful job over here. Cavalry finishing everybody off. Yeah, pretty pleased with how this went. I don't think I could have asked for better results. I mean, I guess the only thing I could have asked for is... Uh, Seeing some of, their, some of their nobles die, that would have been nice, but maybe it did happen, I just didn't catch it. Come on now. Come on now, faster, let's go. Crack his skull open. Oh, just managed to get away. Well done, men. Once more, a glorious victory. What are the results here? No deaths. We lost two soldiers, not too bad, 24 leveled up. Not too bad at all. What did we lose? We lost ourselves... Mom looked regular, saw that happen, and a Butilari. Yeah, I was a little, again, a little careless with my horse archers, but not too bad, not too bad. Maybe I should have kept the fight going, actually. I just realized I should have let some more kills get, uh, get done. What the prisoners taken? Sora, your help was most welcome, stranger. My name is Sora. Can I learn yours? My name is Partia. I am your Sultan. Well met, Partia. I'm in your debt for what you just did. I hope one day I will find a way to repay it. Yeah, how about you form up an army and actually do something with it? Enough! I am your prisoner. I can pay a ransom. I am worth more to you alive than dead. Well, Ali Jin, you are my prisoner now. And yes, you are at my mercy. 46 prisoners. Any of them worth taking? We have room for some of them. Uh, Lancers, Torgood, yeah, don't mind if I do. Heavy Lancers, okay, sure. Keshig, yeah. Otherwise, I think we're fine. Yep, the rest can stay. Now we do have some troops again that have leveled up, so let's go ahead and get those sharpshooters. Glandian Knights, excellent, excellent. Looking like a very good army over here. We're also against pitiful forces, right? So I'll not let that skew our opinion of, of where our army stands. You do have to keep in mind that eventually we're going to be up against the Batanians and their full, you know, full armies, full stacks, as it were. Are you really chasing me, Barton? Come on, man. Don't be a fool. Umbrella, 85 defenders. That should be relatively easy to take, but it's a waste of time is the problem. It, it takes time. That's why I was really hoping that our armies in the area would do their, you know, work as needed. Over here, what are you doing with this prolonged... Don't, don't, don't use my methods, Aranix. Just... That's troubling. Not sure how that's going to work out. I do wonder if I shouldn't turn around and just eliminate Barton before uh, he's able to get up to something bigger. Andros is putting Umbrella under siege. Okay, you know what? If that's going to work out, if, that, if a single party is going to put this under siege, that's great. Go for it. Because then I can focus on other stuff. Tamian, Munim all escaped from captivity. Of course they did. Munim, Munim, not sure. Let's go ahead and send... There we go. Is Varton down. Finish him off. Ruma has been ransomed off. Not my intent, but what are you going to do? Go ahead and help Perabard's party. I think we can auto-resolve this one. Send the troops in. <laughs> lost three. I don't think we should have lost three and only leveled up nine. I, I, I don't think that's... I don't know. <laughs> it seems a little unreasonable. Arrived just in the nick of time, Partia. With my deepest thanks. Oh, it is Perabard. Call you the brave for a reason, after all. Valanian Light Cavalry, Valanian Knight, sure, I'll take you. Nothing else really worth taking. A couple of these guys willing to join us, maybe? Yep. Good stuff, good stuff. Anybody here leveled up? Yep. Good stuff, excellent stuff, done. Grab the loot. So much, so much loot. <laughs> so much loot. Let's get Perabard back in here. 
Though he might have lost too many soldiers there. No, looks like he's still okay. Good. Honestly, I'm tempted to scoop up even more. 700 versus 600, right? Like, that's, uh... That's tight. In a siege, that's pretty tight. We should be okay. What about over here? 300 defenders. I think our vassals can, can do the job there. I worry about the attack over here as well, though. Like, Brannock up over here with 71 soldiers. You know, is he going to attack our uh, attack the party over here and, and stop that siege from, from happening successfully? I don't know. Ira is about to join us. Well, that's good, at least. Gives us 100 more soldiers. Can we strike at Fennigan over here? You're going to hide in this castle, aren't you? going to loop back a little bit. One of us will catch him. Egypt Umbrella continues. Yeah, excellent. Come on, now let's go. Theratus has created an army nearby, I hope. Yeah. Oh. Man, I can't. Whatever. What are you going to do? The Zawal no longer serve the Asurai. Okay, good for us. That is getting kind of ridiculous. How far, how far are we going to chase these guys? Pull back. Ira, on me. Come on now. Tempted to help up over here, though. Over to my cab. Let's go. They focused on our task. Hopefully, I'm probably will be taken. And I'll have the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by the by Nantai. Okay, great. We went from having two enemy places under siege to having to having lost a place instead. Makeb and Saronia should both have been ours. Najin, can I get you up over here or are you joining an army already? Where is he? Ost. Najin is not in a large enough uh, party, fair enough. Alright, over to Makeb we go. See what we can do. While all of our prisoners escape each the town. Let's go ahead and work on the trebs. Slightly messier collection. There we go. Of clicks. There we go. That should hopefully work. And who knows what else we've lost and where with the battalions. That's a real uh, bummer, though. I'm not gonna, not gonna sugarcoat it. Just we we could have we could have got Makeb and uh, Saronia as well, but no. They, quote-unquote, ran out of food. Okay, Acton of the Embers of the Batanias has been taken prisoner by some sea raiders. Good. The Aligen has escaped. Umbrella is being defended by Sinayan's party. Is he already under attack? Can't even see. And the Western Empire has declared war on us. Told you it was coming. Alright, let's see what's up. The Batanians. Don't think I have enough influence. They've had three successful sieges, but I can't see exactly what it was, how much land we've lost, because I'm stuck here right now. Alright. Resource Castle has been besieged by the Batanians. It's such a... Such a buzzkill. It really is. Two holdings we should have had. The battalions are making some progress as well. I don't like it. I think we need 3,300 to, to make peace here. Put these guys back out now. After these guys shoot one, yep. Yeah. Put you out. Put you out. Put you out. Let's get to work here. Come on now. Quickly now. Mancha Oza. Been ransomed for nine for less than oh my god <laughs> for less than ten thousand their con has been ransomed lana ken is is under siege need peace with the battalions but i also need my army to stick around okay this is interesting and leia has escaped from captivity okay good for you Getting some work done over here. Come on now, keep at it. This will take forever. 
Poros has been besieged by the Western Empire. Hopefully our armies are up to something. Doing all right over here, but starting to lose some trebs, it looks like. Bortu has been ransomed. Why are you ransoming our enemy in the middle of this war? Stop it. <laughs> I wish you could tell them just to not. And Naira has been besieged by the Kuzate. We're at war with everybody right now. Everybody that matters. Tempted to just... They have so many catapults and ballista and everything. They're working very quickly as well. They've done minimal damage to their walls so far. Varek Sand Castle has been besieged by the Batanians. None of the new sieges have been won yet, so there's that. It's only a matter of time, though. How much more am I willing to lose right before... I push for this peace. Too many armies. They're 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 carpet sieging us basically. About to take three or four holdings all at once. Najin's being attacked. Come on now. Come on now. I think we're like a day away. Ish from being able to propose this peace. Doing okay over here. Again, I want to try and eliminate the Kuzate right now, if possible. That's why I want peace with the, uh, the Batanians at Aconia Castle as well. How many places do they have under siege, man? I can't even... I can't even see. I can't even tell what's going on. I hate it so much. Or success. So they did manage to take something else. Man. I just... At least it seems as though we got a victory over here. Ekaran, Withuin, and Idrun of the Batanians have been taken prisoner. Alright, good. Take what I can get, man. Take what I can get. Let's see what's under siege. Anaira, of course, by the Kuzate, but we're not going to look for peace with them. Hecard, Serratus, they're all up against the Batanians right now. They're not helping me on this front anymore, so, you know, that's brilliant. Top level stuff from them. I try not to let this stuff bother me too much, and I try not to show, let it show when it bothers me, but I'm, uh, man. I'm, 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 I'm really starting to lose all momentum. And, uh, <laughs> I've tried to be, I've tried to, I've tried to hold fast for as long as possible, but man. I gotta tell you, today's session has not been kind to me. Today's session has not been kind to me. Almost done these walls. Come on now. Come on now. All kids being born. Good for you. Ein Balik is being raided. Let's take a look really quickly as well. That reminds me. Make peace with the Asurai. I'll deal with that in a moment. Still four successful sieges on their side. And again, I don't know where my armies are positioned or anything right now. I would like to know before I push for this peace and to lose out on the opportunity to gain something, you know what I mean? The Asurai have had a successful siege in this war. Hopefully that's from a while ago. Hopefully it's not, you know, right now. Lek, where are you going? Traveling to, like, Charon, Hecard, to Sargot, Aratus, Rikinia, Jalmaris, okay. Laconia, Sand, under siege. Can't see the circumstances. These walls are almost done. Once we have victory over here, I'll actually be able to get a, a lay of the land and see what's going on. Has a Naira been lost? It looks like it. Okay. Come on now. One wall down. One more to go. Quickly now. Lose cohesion over here as well starving in this army. 
But hey, at least we're still here and fighting. Again, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't have to be at Makkev. <laughs> Somebody else should have got it. Okay, of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by the Western Empire. Okay, fantastic. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Finally. I don't want to get rid of that ballista before I attack because they will do a number on us. Man, losing my patience. Go. Take this damn city. A couple of breaches. Archers have moved up, good stuff. And are on me over here, yeah. Oh, come on. Get off our horse here. Time to channel some of that rage to something productive. There we go. I bring, I bring news on the other side of my empire in the form of an axe. This guy over here is real, uh, real adventurous, isn't he? Walking through fire and everything, oh, good for him. Alright, come on. Good, clean victory over here. Our significantly more capable men should be able to punch through these lines without too much issue. I'm also being very careless, I know. There we go. But Connor is scary, man, with their, with their, with their, um... With their uh, armor. They're terrifying. Love it. Okay, these guys are fleeing. Perhaps get up top. Oh, yeah. Bunch of thugs protecting the city over here. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Excellent. Battering ram should be at the gates by now. It'll be irrelevant by the time we're done here. Good stuff. Somehow I'm still alive. I'm actually surprised. I was so sure I was going to drop dead by now. Power of using rage, I suppose. Okay, okay over here. Stuff. Good stuff. Nice. Goofer. Alright, here we go. Up this side of the field out as well. Excellent. Hit the walls. My men are already charging up. I'm not going to be able to go through that flow over there well enough. Looks good. Looks good. Now, if only my vassals would take some notes. Marching around with armies a thousand strong. Not accomplishing anything. Come on. End the fighting already. Give up. Give up. Nice. <laughs> oh, good dodge, good dodge. Through the market stalls. Territory I'm very familiar with. I like these little back alleys and stuff, actually. More of the fighting took place here. There we go. Good stuff. Victory is ours. 74 lost. 65 leveled up. Beauty. Beauty. 55 prisoners. I don't think they're going to be worth anything to me. Not really. Oh, well, yeah, there's some cons guard, sure. Some noble sons. Sure, why not? A couple of these folks have leveled up. Got some more infantry. Swordsmen. That's looking good, looking good. Prisoners joining us as well. Bolstering our numbers. Good. So that was actually, this is actually not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. Alright, all done here. Could have probably picked up some more prisoners, but I think we're fine. Alright. Uh, show mercy, of course. People dropping off their prisoners. Nobody seems to be upset. Oh, no. People are, of course, upset about me showing mercy. Alright. What went down? Alright. Don't even... I can't even, like... 
Okay, looks like Anira is no longer under siege. So at least we still hold Anira. Makeb has a garrison of 56. All right. Militia will slowly grow. Uh, give them the training militia focus. A slightly faster growth of militia. Fine, good enough for me. Uh, I could try and um, leave some soldiers of my own behind. Trade with these guys as well. I'm sure they have some money that we could offload some of our pointless kind of weight with. Um, yeah, okay, we can dump some of this stuff off for sure. They have money as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, it feels good enough. Again, we're not like in, in desperate need of, of wealth or anything like that, right? So that's fine by me. Let's go ahead and leave so I can at least survey the situation, understand our circumstances right now. This guy didn't take Umbrella back. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, obviously. Lek over here, traveling to Lycaron. Okay, you're almost there. Good for you, buddy. What have we lost up over here? Berksand Castle. What else? I don't even remember what was mine anymore. We held Jilmaris, didn't we? Not anymore. Eckard up over here, traveling to Jackalon. For who knows what reason. Lanaken Castle still stands. Good for us. Okay, wonderful. That's it. That's all we have. We have... We have... Okay, listen here. Have your peace, man. I just... Stop bothering me. This war is a non-war. Pointlessly demanded this war of me. And then did nothing. I had to do everything there. Alright, let's see. What are, we, what are we up to here? Five successful sieges. God knows what or where. The Western Empire hasn't had any, so that's good. The Kuzate, we've taken back, I think, almost everything that, uh, that they took from us. Looks like I'm going to have to do all the work over here. I'm here all alone. And actually, the original reason I came up over here is to look at my armies. Yeah, Hecard and Lek are both kind of like more against the Western Empire and Batania. Fair enough. Uh, all right, over to Umbrella then, I guess. Let's go. Back and forth dance over here. I mean, I, I have no... I don't know, man. A bunch of Sturgeons got taken prisoner by Batanians. Okay, good for you. Looks like the Sturgeons and the Batanians have declared war on each other, and the Sturgeons immediately fell on the back foot there. Okay, good for them. If I were to take Umbrella, how would I go about taking it? A hundred defenders. Chalia has been taken prisoner by the Western Empire. Again, I can sue for an immediate peace. Makeb is under siege. Of course, we didn't leave any defenders behind. Of course, that'll happen. Vipon is gathering another army. Okay, good. 500 over here. Okay, 700 over here. All right. Actually, a sizable force. Again, right? Because they all... They all escaped, or they got ransomed for some reason, or what have you. Like, yeah, of course. Surrender or die, you absolute fool. A real fight. Attack. This will again return the... The advantage to us. And I really, I, I really don't like being bummed out when I'm recording, and I apologize, because it creates a worse experience, I know. I'm trying my best, folks, I'm trying my best, but honestly, this episode has been some nonsense. And I, I, I can only, I can only, uh, <laughs> I can only mask my, uh, my, my upsetness so much for so long. Because, alright, you know, we're still making progress against the Kuzate. Not as much as we would have. We're still making progress against them. I guess I'll leave a garrison at the city because otherwise it's going to get picked apart. The Batanians have, like, devastated, devastated the West. So we're going to have to do something about that. They just grow stronger and stronger. No one's standing against them. The Western Empire has declared war on us as well, right? So we got to deal with that, too. I do have enough influence for a peace, but now it just feels, like, useless because all of our vassals are over there, so... What's the point? Cavalry charge, go for it. I need to be a little less uh, careless in this battle. They do have uh, they do have quite a few soldiers. From a numerical perspective, we're relatively even actually. Archers have a good location, I think. Cavalry, let's pull you back a little bit. Let those horse archers come a bit closer. Or archers can fire away. Go back. Horse archers looking okay. I could send them forward to harass their uh, their cavalry on this side. Be a good fight. 
nothing else. This will be a good fight. We have a couple of dips in the terrain over here, but I, I think it'll be okay. Horse archers moving up. Yeah, archers now able to fire at their horse archers, looks like. Okay, good. Fire away, fire away. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hitting some of the tribal warriors and stuff. Okay. Okay, horse archers, you're getting some work done? I hope so. Cavalry move in, let's go. Getting the charge command here. Get some work there, look at that clump. Come on now. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, good stuff. Quite a few killed on that charge, actually. Can't get too close to their uh, back lines there, the 58 archers will do a number on our uh, cavalry. Alright, pull them back. Getting way too far ahead. Time to get away now, we're gonna get shot down. Horse archers creep forward. Try and get some work done. I have to be, I have to keep my eyes on these uh, horse archers though. Don't want to lose them. The horse archers have turned around again, okay. Ours are able to fire away now, yeah. Getting some work done. Good, good, good. Over here. Alright, cavalry. Go back a bit more. Archer's doing okay. I mean, I guess they can't see their cavalry. Oh, looks like moving forward. Archer's pull back. Safe. Here they come. Archers should be okay fire from over here. We could send our infantry up a little bit if we feel like the mound needs to be a bit more, uh, a little differently uh, formed, I guess. Differently uh, formed around, I should say. But I think we'll be fine. We're about to find out, I suppose. Doing okay. Yeah, getting quite a few kills right now. Horse archers coming through. Cavalry move forward. Pull horse archers back. Let's go. Cavalry charge over there is going to hurt a little bit. Doing alright, we're doing alright. Cavalry is moving up over there, yeah, excellent. Preparing to flank in from that side. Our archers are getting a lot of work done over here. Good stuff, infantry. Charge. Cavalry come through from the back. Archers are still firing away, yeah, in comes the infantry charge. Cavalry charge coming through as well, hammer and anvil. Gotta love a good classic. Come on now. A little bit of an interception back over here, but overall we're okay. There we go. Charge command now. Archers still firing away. No, they've, they've clumped up for some reason. Come on now. Lose formation, up ahead, get some work done. The horse archers up as well. I feel like the battle is already won. We have to be careful though again, right? They're going to get their reinforcements. They're going to circle back around and, and try and strike at us once more. But overall so far so good. Cavalry push up there. Let's not uh, charge blindly. Infantry up over here. Archers are firing away as well. Getting some work done, it looks like. Cavalry pulling in. Intercepting a couple of these stragglers. Good, good, good. Alright, this is when I feel most of my element here. Just me, my enemy, an open field. Or a siege. I'll take that also. No foolishness of my vassals to throw me off or surprise me with their ever higher levels of questionable uh, behavior. The horse is through. Charge from the side here. The heel got dropped. Wounded. Couple kills there, I hope. Yeah, looking okay, looking okay. But you can see, like, the reinforcements are arriving now. Our archers might be a little too far back. And our cavalry through. Put infantry back a little bit. Archers, come on now. Cavalry keep pulling back, let's go. He's getting into position as well. We'll be okay. Come on. Good, horse archers are fine, yep. Cavalry, we could charge their archers back there. It's a risky charge. It's always a risky charge. Archers are back here. Infantry charge. Let's go. Cavalry pull back over here. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Everyone's getting some work done. 
Top right corner is looking real good. Cavalry push up. Cut down their archers. Infantry just gonna push up as well. Beauty. Looking okay. Again, our Valanian sharpshooters. We have quite a few archers. Or rather, I should say, ranged units who are capable in melee as well. So, yeah, that's working out alright. We've tied down all of their archers back there. Excellent. Taking a couple losses here and there, but overall, I think we've done quite well for ourselves. Victory is certainly ours. A matter of minimizing those last handful of losses. Cavalry to charge command. They can move freely. We are taking some losses right now. I don't like it. Of course. But hey, this will give us, again, an advantage moving forward, right? We have some nobles over here. Oh. Off your horse you go. Come on. Oh, I think I got rocked. I think that was the end of his day. Can't quite tell. Fair enough. Well done, man. Victory Zars. Not much left on their side. Couple of stragglers over here running away. Get a bit of training, I imagine, for our uh, for our warriors. All right. Well done. Well done. Thirty-seven dead. A hundred and seven leveled up. Okay, that's massive. That's a lot better than I actually expected. All right. I'll take it. Hell yeah. 37 lost. It's not too bad. Four of our own. A few more that we could finish off over here. Again, the opportunity to train a bit more, right? Train just a little bit more. I don't know if it's worth it. I really wish we'd... It's okay. At least we've got one, two, three, four, five, six new prisoners. Once more, hopefully slowing the Kuzate roll, as it were. Once more, hopefully buying us some more time to get some work done on our own in this area. Because our vassals are off dancing around the battalions, right? You yield? Good. A prisoner now, Ruma. We could have been on the same side. In fact, we should have been on the same side, but no. All these guys are my prisoners. Great. Under my care, 21 looters. Let's pick them up. We have room in our army. Maybe we'll maybe even leave them behind as uh, as garrison, honestly, just to have some numbers up over here to buy us some time if we have to turn around and return. Pull these guys all up. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, prisoners willing to join us as well. Good stuff. Oh, this is looking really good actually. How, how much room do we have here? We have quite a bit of room for prisoners. Uh, the con. Don't mind if I do. Uh, some Lancers, sure. Noble Sons, yep. Otherwise, I think I'm done here. Yeah, sure. Good enough. Good enough. I'm fine. I, mean, I guess I could pick some more up, but whatever. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We have bigger fish to fry. All right. Good stuff here. Over to Makeb. I mean, the militia is growing. But we did just wipe out a massive number of, uh, like, of their, of their, of their vassals, of their, of their nobles, whatever you want to call it. Wipe out, took prisoner, whatever you want to say. So there is that. We could go ahead and choose the owner of Makeb, and then drop off. You know, have our have our other vassals drop off some of their uh, soldiers. Go ahead and give this to Akio. Seems like you have the most amount of support over here. Turn around. We gotta turn this around over here. Done. Over to Makeb. Go ahead and drop off a bunch of soldiers, hopefully. Go ahead and pick up these armed traders. Sure. 125 defenders. Alright. Up to Umbrella. Never should have lost that. Lamaris is under siege by who? The Western Empire? By the Sturgeons? By somebody, whatever. It's not by me. Or by us, I should say. Besieging Legetta. Okay, Hecard's heading over to Legetta. Alright. Take that back. Vipon going to a point with his army. And Lek traveling to Poros. Okay. I assume he's picking up food and, and, and stuff like that. A waste of 900 soldiers is, is what I assume it is. Over to Umbrella, which probably has a significant number of uh, defenders now. 110. Not an insignificant number. Gauss Castle is under siege. Maybe I should go there instead. 
just to defend it. Just to prevent another thing from being taken from me. So. And to keep our vassals working as well is the other important thing, right? Like, just, I don't need them to be just Like, I don't need Vipon to turn around and come towards Gao's castle. I'll take care of that. I'll take care of that. Lek is gathering an army near Tavea. Okay, good for you. We're all right, we're all right. Makkeb has been besieged, Anastika has been besieged. I have nobody to help me here. Assault over here has begun. Come on, show me the details. Okay. We should be able to take them on, it's just a matter of reaching here in time. Quickly now, quickly now. Quickly now. Should be good. And let's see, Dynastica is under siege, okay. And Makeb as well. How do they have the armies to do this? How do they have the strength to do this? How do they have the wealth to do this? Oh, I was so worried that they actually won that. Let's do this. Let's crush them. Let's crush them. A lot of battles this episode. Good way to get the rage out. <laughs> Good way to get the rage out. Alright, let's see. We've got some decent terrain over here, it looks like. Um, not perfect. A lot of undulating terrain, so, you know, it doesn't have that... Like, up... Up top, down low kind of a situation. Archers move up. Lose formation. Infantry in lose formation, let the archers through. Cavalry. Stop over there. 90 horses. Horse archers. Stop over there, let's go. Lose formation. Infantry move up. Into a shield wall. Looks like they're just charging up right off the bat. Fair enough. Archer should be able to get a fair bit of work done. Cavalry getting in a position up over there. Let's go. Cut that nonsense down. Archers are firing away as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Just straight up coming for us over here. Firing down there, good. Infantry in position, good. Hopefully we'll get a couple of clean hits. I could send my archers up a bit further up. Post archers up over there, infantry up over here, let's go. Yeah, we're getting some kills, but I feel like if we get a little bit closer, we'll get some more kills. There we go, okay. Come on now. Yeah. Good, good, they've got their shields up. Oh, there we go, finally. Broken their formation, they realize... Standing up there is uh, futile. Of course, Archer's in a touch of trouble. Pull you back. Cavalry, move you up there. Up there, I said. There. There, there we go. Beauty, beauty. Doing okay. Archer's having a field day. Okay, up over here. Yeah, we're fine. Gotta get the infantry ready to charge as well. Move them up over here. Oh, look at that shield wall march. Love it. Archer's doing okay. Yeah. We're firing away. Cavalry back up over here. Beauty. Might want to pull my archers up here, actually. Cavalry there. Archers. Over here. Let's go. Pull, pull, pull. Let's go quickly now. Some of them are taking a really risky move, especially those ones that are far down over there. Bit of a risk. Infantry. Then out. So over here, we should be firing into their sides, into their non-shield sides, right? They should see some good successes. Cavalry, back up over there. Shut down their archers. Don't want to have them charge freely, but that's my only option here. Infantry charge. Up we go. Archers were having an absolute party back over here. Oh my god. Love it. Okay, cavalry's pushing through. Over a hundred archers back there. That number dropped very quickly though. That's good. <laughs> Three charges, let's go. Beauty. Beauty, absolute beauty. Well done, men. 
I'm actually pretty pleased with uh, pulling the archers up over here and flanking with them on the uh, non-shield side. That, that worked out quite nicely. That worked out quite nicely. Right up and actually see something of this battle over here. Delegate the horse archers. They can take control of themselves. Doing okay. We're doing more than okay. I don't think there's much less of this, much left of this army, sorry. They had just like, what, 400 soldiers or something overall? Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, excellent. Yeah, I'd say we're doing alright. Yeah, more than alright. Still taking a couple of losses, some Volandian knights are being dropped by Imperial recruits. What are you going to do about that, I guess? It looks like we're just chasing some disparate soldiers now. Down with you. The tree must be very attractive to the horses. Over here. Oh, that guy's not going to have a good... <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Well done, man. Expect nothing less. 19 lost, 56 leveled up. Atsir has died on the battlefield. Excellent. Never quite liked this man. His name shared too many similarities with mine. <laughs> Always bothered me. Good to have him die. Like I said, good way to get the rage out. Beauty, well done, man. Well done. Well done. Pick up. Ooh, they actually have some troops maybe worth picking up over here. Yeah, don't mind if I do. More than usual, I guess. Oh, wait, these are troops. Yes, I'll take all your troops. Sorry, I, I thought I was picking up prisoners over there. Uh, Imperial infantrymen, sure. Sure. We have room for prisoners as well. Plenty of. Legionaries, like cataphract, sure. 17 trained infantrymen. Not a terrible idea, actually. Get that front line, right? Sure, why not? Why not? Why not? They'll fit into our existing categories, which is why I'm okay with uh, with scooping them up. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright. Feeling a lot better after that. <laughs> Feeling a lot better after that. Go ahead and grab all the loot. So that should help. At least we protected one of our castles, right? That was castle, the last hold of the Asurai previously as well. Patir has died in battle. Beauty. An Archon of the Western Empire, he died in battle in 1109 at the age of 63. Reputed to be considerate of others. Ira is in charge of uh, Clan Pethros now. The Peth stands for pathetic. Traveling to Poros over here, traveling to Lycaron over here, okay. Okay, okay. Eckard putting Legeta under siege. Alright, I mean, yeah, whatever. It's, that means nothing to me. That means nothing to me. We don't know if it's gonna turn into anything. Uh, Makkev is under siege again by the Kuzait, no doubt, so we're gonna flip back, protect Makkev, go up to Amprella. The Nastika, I mean, I don't know if the Nastika's gonna stand or fall or what's gonna happen over here. We don't have anybody to help us. I don't know, do I go down to the Nastika? Do I go up to Makkev? What do I, what do I help? What do I defend? What do I protect? Where do I go first, ripped in so many directions as I am? Do I push for peace with the Kuzait instead? Do I push for peace with the Batanians now? While we're about to take Legeta, at least have a small victory in this war where they've dug such a huge hole into our territory. Somehow Lana Ken Castle still stands. I just don't know. I cannot put any uh, faith in my vassals, clearly. But they should have gone very differently. We should have had Makeb, we should have had Cyronia, I should have protected Emprella, and Emprella would have stayed ours. And then I would have moved on to take Balat Khan or Ortengard or, or Chai Khan or something. But no, instead, uh, I feel like I'm on the back foot on all sides. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session, because uh, I don't know if I can tell you that I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's being kicked around like that. I feel like a football. Nonetheless, though, jokes aside, I mean, again, the 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 lows are how you feel. The highs, right? And and if today was a low point, we're gonna hit our high point in the next session. Turn back around, defend Makeb, take Umbrella, teach the Kazate what it means when I have seven of your nobles as my prisoners and I outnumber you three to one. Secret is it clearly doesn't mean much of anything. But folks, I hope you had a good time. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Like, how, how are we all? How are we all feeling about today's session? 
Am I the only one? I apologize for all the all the moaning. I try not to, like I said earlier, but this was a this was a rough one, man. This was a rough one. By the way, folks, I appreciate your patience in waiting for this episode and your patience through this episode. A massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Again, y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. Y'all keep me stable when this kind of stuff goes down. <laughs> and of course, a big old thanks to all of y'all for watching. Till next time, I bid you farewell.